Hi, I'm Elizabeth Link, Associate Pastor for Christian Education here at Second Presbyterian Church in Roanoke, Virginia. Before this year, most of you would have assumed that the phrase Church Beyond Walls describes some sort of outdoor worship experience. But this year, most of us are worshiping and living out our Christian faith beyond the walls of the church. It is a strange feeling for us, certainly, but it is not a new thing for the church to exist untethered to its meeting place. We are reminded time and again that though we walk through a strange new land, God goes with us. We need to open our eyes, our ears, and our hearts to recognize God's spirit on the move. Listen to what these Second Presbyterian Church members have to share about the ways they have already experienced Church Beyond Walls. I have experienced Church Beyond Walls at the Trent Getaway Retreat when all the kids dunk themselves in the freezing cold spring water. Friendship and fellowship we felt there was amazing. Hi, I'm Kristen Smith on the Christian Education Committee for Children's and Youth Music. An example of the church without walls to me is when I attended summer camp growing up when I was in elementary school. Uh, the counselors did a skit one night and truly helped me to ask Christ into my life that evening and I will always remember that. Whether they knew it or not, they impacted my life outside of the church walls. The church is a beautiful thing inside and out. One way I've experienced God beyond the church walls is when our youth went on a mission trip to Kentucky last year. There are a lot of other churches there, and even though we didn't know a lot of people from the churches, we were all there for one reason, to help the less fortunate. Even though these people weren't given a lot, or maybe lost a lot, they still showed kindness to us, and just they even cooked for us. One lady I worked with cooked some amazing chili for us, and it really just showed me that God works in crazy ways and just how God was with us all on that trip and how we all came together and just became good friends and worked with so many great people. So that's one way I've experienced God beyond the uh, church walls. I experience church beyond walls every time I cook and share a meal with friends and family. Whether it's a simple meal or whether it's a feast, whether I follow a recipe or whether I go off script. The prep the slicing and the dicing, that feels like liturgy. And sitting down to share the meal, that's communion. I love my church. I love being in the sanctuary. I feel comfortable there. But I also love being in the great outdoors. I feel God's embrace here in the back country. I'm John Johnson, and this is my church without walls. I've experienced church beyond walls at the dog park where I sat down with a stranger on a park bench and we were talking about the highs and lows of our lives. And after discussing some things that had been troubling me, instead of simply commiserating, she asked if she could pray for me. And she bowed her head and gave an incredibly heartfelt and genuine prayer that was incredibly moving. One way I experienced God beyond the walls of the church we go on the all-youth church retreat, and when I jump into the lake off the dock, I feel the icy water, and then when I come up and I see the sun hitting my face, I just feel God in that moment. I'm Lauren Ellerman, and Whit and I experienced church beyond walls when our daughter Maggie was born three months prematurely in 2012. For three months, church cooked every meal for us. Um, folks like Fred Genhammer were mowing our yard, members of the church were walking our dogs, we didn't even know it until we'd come home and we realized they were taking care of us in every way imaginable. And it was prayers and people taking care of us during that time that we knew we had found a church family and we've been so grateful ever since. Sarah, Brooke and I are friends, neighbors, and fellow church members. During the pandemic, we've gathered for early morning walks together. Our time has provided a great deal of comfort during months of uncertainty. Walking with friends every day allows me to settle my heart and mind for the day ahead. These personal connections are so helpful as we enter the new normal. This consistent time together has strengthened our friendship and been a real bright spot during the pandemic. Supporting each other has lifted our spirits when we needed it most. Church, Church Beyond, Beyond Walls, walls. With this year's Christian Education Program, we are embracing our current reality and trusting in the life-giving promise of the Holy Spirit as the church moves beyond walls. 
As important and meaningful as our church building is for us, the church has never been its building. The church is the body of Christ, worshiping, growing, and serving wherever we are planted. With the help of many faithful volunteers, I'm excited to share with you opportunities for learning and growing this season with Church Beyond Walls. Beginning today, September 13th, children and their families are invited to visit our church YouTube page for a weekly Children Worship and Wonder installment. Storytellers from our own church will be recording themselves telling their worship stories right here at our own Children's Worship Center. We hope this will be a special way that you and your families can worship this season. I plan to launch season two of my podcast called The Child of God. Each episode shares a story about God and the ways we are a part of God's family. The episodes are brief but meaningful and perfect for a car ride, for mealtime, before nap or bedtime. Subscribe and listen to Child of God with the Reverend Elizabeth Link on any of your favorite podcast platforms. By now, many of you have already picked up your Church Beyond Walls worship kits. Inside, you'll find items that will help you create a sacred space for worshiping and learning in your home. There's a mosaic cross that you can make with your household together, liturgical colored ribbons, candles, and any other items that you would like to add to your family's worship kit. It is our hope that these gifts may be a way for you to create a special place for you to experience worship with us digitally this year. On the heels of our successful Staycation Bible School program, we are embracing a new and innovative format for children's Sunday school and choir. Using the newly published Children's Story Bible, Growing in God's Love, we'll explore Old and New Testament stories with the help of our own youth group members. Middle and high school youth will contribute weekly storytelling and dramatic play videos for our program. Our children and youth music director, Kristen Smith, will provide weekly songs and instrumental exercises at a, as a part of each week's Sunday School video. You may join in on these lessons and activities during the traditional 10 o'clock Sunday School hour, or whenever your family gathers to worship and learn together. You can access these weekly Sunday School videos on our church YouTube channel. And families will also receive a weekly email from me with lesson ideas and helps for parents. Middle school and high school youth will be meeting through a combination of in-person events and online gatherings. That information will be emailed out on a weekly basis to parents. Midweek Mana and Midweek Man Night will also be occurring this year. We're so grateful to middle school and high school youth for their help with Christian Ed this year as they will be putting together some videos to teach our youngest church members. Young adults will also be meeting through a combination of in-person and online activities. If you're not on my mailing list and you are a young adult, please email me jbrothers at sprez.org for more information. Weekly adult Sunday school classes will begin their new season next Sunday, September the 20th. Two of our adult Sunday school classes will be taking a break this fall, the Journey class and the Wired Word class. Members of those two Sunday School classes are encouraged to join in one of the other weekly Zoom classes or consider taking part in one of the short-term educational series this fall. The Open Door Sunday School class continues their discussions on meditations from Stephen Charleston, an elder of the Choctaw Nation and former Episcopal Bishop of Alaska. This fall, the group will transition to discussing meditations from Richard Rohr, Franciscan priest of the New Mexico province and founder of the Center of Action for Contemplation in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Meditations for discussion are emailed out to members each week as they are available, and class discussions take place on Zoom at 10 a.m. on Sundays. The Covenant Conversation Sunday School class will kick off their study this fall with theologian N.T. Wright's latest offering called God in the Pandemic, a Christian reflection on the coronavirus and its aftermath. Together, the class will seek to uncover how scripture speaks hope and peace into our times of uncertainty and confusion. This class also takes place on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. via Zoom. For information on either Adult Sunday School class or upcoming short-term offerings, contact our church office. Beginning this October, join church member Carter Brothers for a short-term Zoom series on C.S. Lewis's novel, The Screwtape Letters. Originally written in the weekly periodical, The Guardian, between May and November of 1941, The Screwtape Letters is a series of imagined lessons on the importance of taking a deliberate role in the Christian faith. 
Each class will be taught and recorded on Zoom and then posted on our church YouTube channel. Other short-term series will be made available throughout the year. Information on these upcoming classes will be shared via email and through our church newsletter, The Second Sheet. Which brings to mind, if you're not on our church email list, give us your contact info. I am George Anderson. If you have been visiting our church online or in person, or if you've recently joined, I hope you will join me for a seasonal two-week class on what it means to be Presbyterian and what it means to be a member of Second Presbyterian Church. This fall class will meet on Thursday evenings, October 8 and 15 via Zoom at 5.30. Contact the church office to register and receive the information. I hope to see you there. For the past few years and throughout the season of social distancing, our weekly contemplative prayer group has continued to meet on Tuesdays at noon. This small group of seekers invites you to join them for the weekly experience of contemplative prayer and discussion. All are welcome to join this supportive community on their journey. If you're interested, contact church member Deborah Vaughn for more information. All of these details are included in this year's Christian Education Booklet, which may be accessed through our church website. We will continue to strive to be creative and flexible and nimble as this school year unfolds. We hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction of Church Beyond Walls. Prayerfully consider ways that you and your family can make time to study, learn, and grow in your faith this fall. Your pastors and your Christian Education Committee, co-chaired by John Johnson and Mary Evelyn Russell, are here to help. God is with us, and while we may not be together in body, God's Spirit unites us as Christ Church to make disciples for the kingdom. May the good Lord strengthen and encourage us to know and make known the good news of the gospel. And may we find one another as we explore the grace and love of Jesus Christ this Christian education year.